وما لهم من دونه من وال هو الذي يريكم البرق خوفا وطمعا وينشئ السحاب الثقال ويسبح الرعد بحمده والملائكة من خيفته ويرسل الصواعق فيصيب بها من يشاء وهم يجادلون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبعده أنوى ما سوجرما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته منا كارا ينغوديا قال الله تبارك وتعالى ودا إننا من ونا يمتشي منا رأي دقوش الله فيها منا ينغدعا الله تبارك وتعالى إسامة كادة كيو إيمان أسم منا جيريا da sauran kasashe Allah ta'ala ba mu zaman lafiya yau ma kamar kullun za mu dora daidai inda mu kwana a wancan zama ba zan ci a wancan mako ba domin kusan an share bakwanni guda biyu da ba a wannan zama muna fata Allah ta'ala ya ba mu ladan niyya kamar yadda Allah ya saki sa damu a wannan lokaci Allah ya sa damu cikin firdausi to wancan zama na ƙarshe mun kwane akan aya 52 suratul bakara yau kuma in Allah ta'ala ya so da kudar sa za mu tashi akan aya 53 cikin suratul bakara we are going to continue from where we stopped last uh, last two weeks uh, we stop at uh, verses 52 of chapter 2 so we are continuing from verses 53 of the same chapter وإذا أتينا موسى الكتاب أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإذا أتينا موسى الكتاب والفرقان لعلكم تهتدون نعم الله تبارك وتعالى وإذا أتينا موسى الكتابة والفرقان وأن آياتنا دا على قد عيون سكيبة شيت مسيوة تم آيات تلاتين دبوك إذا الله تعالى شيا بني إسرائيل أذكروا نعمة التي أنعمت عليكم وأني فضلتكم على العالمين دك بني لا كم بني إسرائيل يا كم بني إسرائيل وتوكتنا إير النعمومي دمك يا مك ni momi daban-daban kuma da Allah ta'ala ya fifita su akan dukkan talikai musamman na zamanin su to duk bayanin da ya biyo baya duka ne akan irin abin da Allah ya yi musu kutuna na muku kutuna na muku kutuna na muku to wadda ma za ka ga ayi wajen guda biyar a jere kutuna na muku Allah ta'ala ya yi musu abuwa da yawa bani Isra'ila mutane ne masu butulci mutane ne yan ta'adda karara kuma uh, zaka gane hoton su mai kyau abin da ke faruwa a yanzu a Palestine mutane ne takadarai ba su da sanin ya kamata to sai Allah ta'ala anan yake cewa wa iz atina Musa al-kitab domin annabin su aslan shine annabi Musa alayhi salatu shi sa ya sha wahala da su ya sha wahala da Fir'auna mugun kaya sa'an nan kuma yazo saki diban wata wahalan da su bane isa da Musa ya yawo wahalar da mutanen sa ba ga. Alayhi salatu wassalam. To Allah ta'ala ce yayin da muka ba ma'anai Musa al-kitab wa tulitab a mafi yawancin wato masu tafsiri a magabata duk suna cewa abin da ake nufi da litafi anan at-Tawra. Domin at-Tawra ce aka ba ma'anai Musa alayhi salatu wassalam. wa iz atina Musa al-kitab yayin da muka ba wa annabi Musa litafi ne ce at-Tawra wal furqan da kuma rarrabewa a yawanci masu fi suna cewa an ba shi rarrabewa tsakanin halal da haram bani Isra'il ku yi kaza bani Isra'il ku bar kaza to Allah ta'ala sai ambaci me yasa yi musu haka ya ba su irin wannan wato girma da littafi abin karantawa abin bi 
la Allah kum ta ce duna ko kwa samu wato cikikken shirya domin shi littafi daman ana saukar wa al'umma ne domin ta bi Allah ne yayi sauki wa al'umma sai ya saukar musu da littafi domin idan sun bi wannan littafin to sun shirya idan su kwade bo makan su rigima suka ce sun iya turanci suna da manyan manyan lawoyoyi suna da matu kwalwa a tsara musu tafiya to za su samu rigima ke sa su mutanen anai Musa sun ki yadda da billata su ke ta waye kamar inda zamu ji ayo inda za su biyo baya to haka nan mu ma yanzu alhamdulillah na zamanin muna kama da su Allah ya turo mana alqur'ani cewa wannan shi da littafi wanda akwai halal akwai haram akwai ku yi kaza ku bar kaza ku taimaka wa kaza kar ku yi kaza da yana ci sai aka ce a wannan ba dole bane dokan kasa aka taro wasu masu kwakwari aka ce su su za su tsara me zai aka shiga rigima da Allah shi yasa ake ta samun matsaloli daban-daban kuma dole sai musulmi ya gane wannan idan bai gane wannan ba yana cikin halaka shi karan kansa domin wannan bayanin da wannan ganewan shine abu na farko shine tafiyar da Usman dan Fodio ya kasan nan ga ya wa mutane hakikan yadda addini yake ba wai kawai yadda suka tsince shi a kyauta ba a hakikan addini ba gadon sa ake bayani ake cikin wato littafin da Allah ya saukar da zaran ka kuma wani gargajiya ko wani al'adun ko wani garin ku ko wani masu ilimin ku ko wani an siyasan ku to ga halaka to bani israil suka ki suka ce ba za su ba taura ba ba wani rabe ba to shi sa anai musa ta diban rigima da su kala kala har yau suna nan akan wannan tafiyar ta halaka bani israil wa iz atina musa alkitab وَإِذْ آتَيْنَا مُوسَى الْكِتَابَ وَالْفُرْقَانَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَهْتَدُونَ Now the discussion is on the children of Israel and uh, it did not start from this verse 53 if you go back to verse 47 where Allah called Bani Israel categorical by saying Ya Bani Israel uzkuru ni'mati allati an'amtu alaykum wa anni faddaltukum 'alal alamin o you the children of israel remember my favors on you uncountable and allah said he has even favored them over all mankind of course of their time now the verses that follows this 47 are all about what allah has done to them of honor of respect of regard favors until the one we are in today where allah says remember that is bani israel when we give musa alayhi salatu wassalam that is moses al kitab the book now majority of scholars in fact is almost a consensus that al kitab here is being referred to a torah that is the old testament the book given to moses alayhi salatu wassalam wal furqan furqan is a criteria where it separates and distinguish between what is legalized and what is prohibited what has been made lawful and what allah has made unlawful and you see is a favor to mankind when allah sent them a book because he is the creator of man and he knows what is good for man much better than him himself so any form of book that is revealed to any messenger that book is the guidance of that generation you cannot produce intellectuals that will formulate a formula or a constitution that will be equivalent to what Allah the creator has revealed to mankind is impossible and at any point in time where man decided on his own to form a way of life 
by making laws for his own self, then he's in trouble. And the simple question you will ask him is that no matter how intelligent, man cannot predict what is going to happen precisely tomorrow. Talk less of beyond tomorrow. Allah knows the past, He knows the present, He knows what is going to happen. That's why He is in the best position to design a law for mankind. Whosoever doesn't have this quality cannot make a law that will survive tests of pressure, tests of calamities and crises. And that's why today the world is in trouble because the owner of the universe has sent down a guidance for man to follow and man rejected. Man decided on his own to prove intellectualism by making some individuals to be lawmakers and putting that of the creator aside. And that criminality is the greatest corruption one will establish on us. And that was the case with Banu Israel and that is the case of us today, practically. Then Allah says the essence of this book and the criteria of this uh, separating between wrong and right is la Allah kunta jadun. So that you have a special guidance. Don't do this. Don't kill one another. That is the law. That was their own and that is in our own too. And anybody who decided to kill, then that person should be killed. But you find out today the flexibility of the law that you don't want to miss two at a time. So it's either you jail him for life, and one president will come and leave him, or one governor will come and say he has pardoned him. You continue to increase the number of criminals because there is no deterrent. That is, that is part of the law. Man claimed to be uh, the law of uh, justice. In Islamic law, when you kill an innocent soul, you should be eliminated automatically so that it will serve as a deterrent to others. That mission of two is not, is not a reality. By allowing him, you are making thousands to be potential criminals. And that is what is happening today in our country. May Allah save us and may Allah guide us. <coughs> the loss of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all generation and all time is the best for that generation. We cannot have alternative. وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ يَا قَوْمِ إِنَّكُمْ ظَلَمْتُمْ أَنفُسَكُمْ بِاتِّخَاذِكُمُ الْعِجِنَ فَتُوبُوا فَتُوبُوا إِلَى بَارِئِكُمْ فَاقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ عِندَ بَارِئِكُمْ فَتَابَ عَلَيْكُمْ إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ الله يافي من الله يقف التمن Allah tabarak wa ta'ala yana ga bani Israel da dukkan wanda ke karanta alquran domin wayannan ayyuka ba a kan su kadai bane duk wanda ya kama da su a cikin dabi'a yana cikin su yawa wanda ya tsami kan sane ya tsayi a kan bin annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam shine yayin da annabi Musa ya gaya wa mutanen sa shine bani Isra'il ya kaumi ya ku mutane na kaga wato a a wato saukin kai na annabawa da son jama'an su duk da barnan da suke yi ya ce ya ku mutane kuma da ke barna yanzu a Najeriya ka ce ya ku mutane na Najeriya ku mutane na domin kai dan Najeriya ne ba da zaki dole ka so yan Najeriya kuma ka so gyaranta kuma ka fadi gaskiya an ka samu dama la Allah a samu masu gyara duk da wannan farin nasu annabi Musa ce ya ka ya ku mutane na bai raba kansa da su ba 
innakum ya ku mutane nan nawa innakum lalle ku zalamtum anfusakum kun zalincika wannan kun zalincikan ku malamai na tafsiri suka ce zalincin da suke a nan shirka ne saboda ayan da ke tafi a cikin wannan ayar kalmomin da ke tafi na nuna cewa sun shirka innakum zalamtum anfusakum lalle kun zalincika wannan ku ko kun zalincikan ku saboda mai bitikhadikumul ijla saboda ku riki dan maraki abun bauta don bayan annai Musa ya je saduwa da Allah na kwana 40 ka faidawo sai ke dan maraki sun so bauta mushi kaga mutanen da suka ga lokacin da aka halaka Fir'auna bai ishe su darasi ba annai Musa na tafiya annabi Harun ya tagar gogor mai da su dan ba zai iya da su ba suka dauki dan maraki suka ce ga annai Musa ya manta ubayin sa nan ga abun bauta nan suka so bauta dan maraki mittika zikumul ijla fatubu ila bari da dai Musa ya dawo yace da su ku tuba zuwa ga mahaliccinku bari'ikum wanda ya kirkire ku wanda ya halice ku ku tuba zuwa gare shi to ya tuban yake ya za a yi su tuba to ga 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 yadda tuban yake Allah ta'ala ya ce faktulu anfusakum ku kashe kawunan shine tuban da yawa magabata wanda suka yi rubutu akan tafsiri suka ce abin da ake nufi a nan shine wa'anda ba su yi bautan dan maraƙin nan ba su ne za su kashe wa'anda suka yi wannan bautan kaga duka jarabawa ne yanzu a dauki iyayenka ya bauta dan maraƙi ba kai ba dai Allah ya ga tawa na ga na nuna wani ya kawo da kai aba ai ba mu wani inda ba da misali a ce iyayenka ya bauta dan maraƙi kai ba ka wani dan aka ce ka kashe shi aka ga tashi hankali saka da wanda za a kashe din tashi hankali ne da wanda zai ki zan shi ma mai ne tashi hankali su kuma tuban su kenan Allah ta'ala ce abin da yake so ake da yake tuban su amma mu al'umma annai Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in ka tuba sai ka kashe kowa ba kawai ka ce mu Allah na tuba ba zan kuma ba shi kenan da ka yaka an yafe maka amma su tuban su gashi karara a nasu fatubu ila barikum faktulu anfusakum ku kashe kawunan zalikum haka din wato kisan tsakanin wannan ya kashe wannan khairu lakum shay bi alkhairi duk da wahalan sa da wanda zai kashe da wanda za a kashe to shi ya fa alkhairi akan azaban Allah wanda ke jiran wanda ba su zalikum khairu lakum inda barikum wajen mahalicinku fataba alaikum domin idan kun yi haka to zai ka yi tuban idan ba ku yi ba ba ku da tuba yanzu da aka ce wa mutane sai ka kashe dan wanka za ka duba ai ba tuba yadda kake ga dan najeriya din nan ai wato tuban nan zai wala amma haka aka samu su a cikin su suka ai wata da dokokin Allah saboda neman yaddan Allah ta faru Allah ta ala ce fataba alaikum Allah ya kai tuban su bayan sun aikata abin da aka wuce su inna hu lallashi Allah huwa at-tawwab shine mai yawan karban tuba at-tawwab mai yawan karban tuba ar-rahim Allah mai jin kai ne mai tausayi domin duk wannan bai kai kwatan kwacin azaba dan ankani wanda ke jiran yan mutaba shi sa mutun ya tuba musamman mutuban mu ya zo da sauki kai na dama kai istighfari kuma kada ku ba wannan barna shi ke nan Allah ya an shugan ka Allah ta'ala ya an samu ka na wa iz qala musa li qaumihi ya qaumi innakum zalamtum anfusakum bitikhadikum al-ajl fatubu fatubu ila baliikum faqtulu anfusakum bit faqtulu anfusakum zalikum khairul lakum inda baliikum fataba alaikum 
Again, the verse is discussing Banu Israel, the children of Israel. Allah says, We is Kala Musa li kawmi. He remember when Musa alayhi salatu was salam said to his people, his people Bani Israel, Ya kawmi, oh you my people. You see, with the atrocities they are committed, with all their criminalities, Musa alayhi salatu was salam did not dissociate himself from being part of that community. So there is no way a Nigerian, no matter the level of corruption and criminality, you cannot in any way change whom you are. You are a Nigerian. Even if you have another citizen, citizenship, you remain a Nigerian. So the best you could do to your own nation is to try to contribute towards sanitizing the nation Allah one or the last created you in. That's why with all this level of criminality of Banu Israel, Musa alayhi salatu wasalam has never dissociated himself. He always addressed them by saying, Oh you my people, oh you my community. Ya oh you my people, inna kum zalamtun anfusakum, you have wronged yourself. And here interpreters of the Quran said, the wrongness here is that they have associated partner unto Allah. And it's clear from the verse itself what follows. When you decided to take the calf that they, they worship after Musa wasalam, has left to be with Allah in the appointment of 40 days. You know, he left them with Harun. And they decided to worship the calf. By telling Harun that Musa has forgotten about his Lord here. Look at Bani Israel. How will Musa forget about his Lord here? And that has been their nature throughout history. Very stubborn, ungrateful. Now, when Musa Alayhi came back and met them in that mess, worshiping the calf, then he admonished them by saying, Repent sincerely to your creator, your, your creator. And how is it going to be the nature of repentance? The nature of repentance there is that you should kill yourself. And the uh, interpreter of the Quran says, those who are innocent, those who do not participate, in that action of worshiping the cult, those ones are to kill those who have participated in the social partner unto Allah. You know, either way around is difficult. Let's have your brother, senior brother or junior brother participated and you are to kill him. Killing him also is a punishment. He to be killed also is a punishment. But Allah says that is the only way he is going to pardon and forgive them. Faktulu and Fusakum. And that is better for you. In the body, in the sight of your Creator, Fataba Alekum, there then Allah will forgive you if you discharge the exercise that you are called upon to do. Of course, they did. In the Tawab Rahim, He Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is at Tawab, the one that accepts repentance, most acceptance of repentance. Ar Rahim the most massive. Now we uh, followers of Rasulullah we have easy way of repentance. The condition is for you to regret of what you have done, to cease from it and to sincerely repent and not to go back to it. Where that the right of others, then that right must be returned. You can't be a looter. And then you just go to your room and say, I've repented. No, you must return what you have looted. So the right of others in repentance is considered as far as the sum of Islam is concerned. May Allah have mercy on all of us. Yeah. <coughs>
وإذ قلتم يا موسى لن نؤمن لك حتى نرى الله جهرة فأخذتكم الصاعقة وأنتم تنظرون. يا كمان لا أمتا بدي إسرائيل متانين ما استورن كي. إنك أنا كرنت تقصن سو. Kau kasar pun dikit baru yang dah pernah simba bapu bayi Amerika. Muka ni ni mas tolong ke? Bapa saya tu saya ikut dia. Alat alai cik akan sun. Wei ultim yang Musa. Kucina yang ini tu kau anda Musa alaih salat wasalam. Lalu mina lak pada mui iman dek heba. Gebah dek heba. Juga anda bisa pada mui iman dek heba. Hatta nara Allah haja harajan. Saya mengga Allah karara. Kekawaman Allah mungkin. Mani Israel. Aiyah yang nak macam ni, mager nus kau ini sih dia aiyah masuk dunia itu. Besang Allah, balik ke tengah dah. Abang dah sekarang ni utar kau. Bama aga dek i, dudu ni dunia sana sana tarik dasu. Kaga esen acim karang sana bapak. Amalu kecil, elu kecil. Di mana dah nanti boleh boleh. Ko kerana zalim si, ko bangzalim si. India mesti nak zalim tu banyak uli. Allah Allah itu sekarang cewa anda Musa gebah dan gebah. Lalu mina laka. Benar mui iman itu keba. Atau nara Allah ajar dan semuanya Allah karara kau mana sih mungkin. Suna pada haga. Allah Allah itu fakir tu Musa ika. Sesawa. Suna pada haga sesawa cakamat. Gebah kita. وأنتم تنظرون الحالي سنة دين تك أكثر سمد سوود الطاوة كان الطاوة دكتورين كان تعادم الطاوة نماذج لا كنا تاكين كإذا كانوا يقولون الطاوة نادري زيك كان قرط بق ما سني ما هذا أستاذي إذا لا تني بسني ما بيعت بعدين أما تيم تيم ياسني إنا يقولون الطاوة باكسن لوكس ما تبرج ده دومن هاسكين كاري كده يا إسير هذا Dah kalang dah sejak sudah alat alawan dan tawan saya kebat ia sudah terus memukau sempat. Tu ilmu mana ini tasyi berkuat jadi dah Allah bang. Tu dah kerja banyak sentasi sekejap cuma pernah. Bani Israel larba mudah syarus. Betul tu nyamu sa. وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَى لَنْ نُؤْمِنَ لَكَ حَتَّى نَرَى اللَّهَ جَهْرَةً فَأَخَذَتْهُمُ الصَّاعِقَةُ وَأَنْتُمْ تَنْظُرُونَ Allah said about them You know many Israelites are very stubborn When you come to hear Musa and remember when they told and they Musa that is Moses alayhi salatu wa salam Lanu mina laka, we will never believe in you. Hatta nara Allah hajaratim. Until when we see Allah plainly, go and bring Allah so that we see Allah, this Allah is, it is then we are going to believe. These people are, are so terrible. That's why they will have regard for, they will have no regard for humanity. This is show of fire, after killing the innocent, the pregnant, the young, the women, the aged, in the whole world are crying. They will never stop. That has been their grand grandparents. And it's by extension, they are the same. There is no difference. They will never. And uh, the Quran is the one telling us exactly who they are. So when they told Anabi Musa that they will never believe until when they see Allah plainly. Then Allah said, "Fa'akhadu Musaika." Allah sees them with thunder. You know, thunder it comes with sound and light. At time the lightning, your eyes, the limitation of the powers of your eyes cannot see that lightning. You automatically close your eyes. You don't even know when, and then you, you will not even know when you are scared. Of, of the sound while you are in your room locked all the doors locked but you don't know when you are scared of the sound and the lightning so Allah sees them with the sound and the lightning and they fell unconscious 
dead. Then Allah says, "Fa'akana tu Musa ika tu wa antum tanzurun." While they were looking, all of them now are unconscious. They are all dead because of the sound and the lightning. You know, somebody of this nature. Let us not Allah gives him life, life back. He's supposed to learn a lesson. You will hear from the verses. They will never learn this. They will continue to trouble and then Musa is. ثم بعثناكم من بعد موتكم لعلكم تشكرون. لكاغون آية. كتير كبيرة نتيجة سموت. ألو كتير من الساوا. ألا تعالى شيء مكدم كيسو الساوا. ألا لي شو لعني. فوني أنا إيش أتو. شو ما سكعي. Ah, orang tak kau sekali. Ah, mutu asal kali si ayat dek ibu tak bayi yang mepal. Allah tebarak udah lalu cik. Semua bahasa nak aku membadi mutu. Saya muka cahaya aku bayi mutu aku. Asyik orang nasi awan time ini tak kasih su. Semua mutu orang mutu bahasa suka la baru. Kagun aku cahaya si bayi yang cik nak suai ke Allah. Tuan yang ibarat day ni pesa aku halak su. Amala kita cahaya dengsi nak bani Israel. Bayi ambasir antara dasu tak ada sesuatu yang cikap. Bapa abang dia cangga narayos. Muka nenek bapa abang dia kei makan susu ilah uta kau. Yak ketirsa sasu. Kau susu tu kau susu mika uya. Amal dah agak nak cek beri anak saya syair anak orang larang cikgu anak orang curang cik. Ah, anda boleh makan susu. Boleh makan, betul betul makan susu. Baku nanti makan susu. Jadi dalam mutim besar Quran, muka nenek dah Allah ibadat lah barang tu pilla 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 asing al Quran sebut dan sebut dan betul cincu. Darah cincu ni yang kembali cincu. Bani Israel, Allah Taala cie semua bahasnahu, semua bahasnahu membadi mutu. Semua kita ada aku bayi mutu orang kuda orang nasawa. Rosie tambah yang nasikai, nanti asal asal sudah Allah. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala a duniya ba a ganinsa. Duk wani wanda yake maka shi ya ga Allah, to wani abun ya gani ba Allah. Nurun anna yarahu haske ne bai yiwa da wannan idan zaka gan shi. Kar mutun ya je ya wani ibada ya ce ya zama kaza ya yi kwana kaza ya khalwa ya wa ya ga Allah wannan kariya ne. Domin shi karan kansa an dai Musa dai ne mai ganin Allah to bai ga Allah. فخر موسى سايكا الله تعالى شيء أنا موسى ديوان أنتم بين بعض وعي شو من مين بيقال لهم دوسن سوين ده كي ما لقرك جات تو كعب دوان ولي تكا دوان ولي تكا بيك أنا بتابع دوان ولي تكا دوان ده كم أكو ولي قسياني أما بيك أنا بيبا مسمى أنكم أنتم شو أنا أنا بعند غرابي أقول الأزم من الرسولي تو أنا موسى يا غدا بيقال لهم Kamu boleh beri cium orang yang mudah biar tidak layak. Rabbi arni anzur ilik. Kalau lantaran, walakin anzur ilal jabali. Ini sekarang makan hu, fusuf teran. Falamma tajalla Rabbahu, jala hu daka, wakar Musa saika. Tak ada tak layak baik. Semua demi Musa jari memutus ni. Jari minalam bawan. Jasa akhirnya sih, jasa peram. Ba 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 loko loko mutun nede jual perahu. Ba loko loko mutun nede iya ada bani Israel. Kita kau banjar ini, memotai ini, bumi galak. Wanda aje, si wayak Allah, kau bega Allah ba. Si ni mau pisau yombai, galak Allah anai Muhammad. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Lo kacen day Israel demi Raji, tuan na ansamu sabah anu maga baca cikin sabai, us kacih ya gak Allah us kacih bega Allah. Si si kena ini. So like a bow and one day going out at whom you are in Chimaka one again, go on, go on, may I go on. Ladam. Babush, Babush, Yavan. She said, Kulum Munga, but you're not a skier, you're not a soaking. Kerkish, Rigima, Skin Abindesh, you're not a barco. To Sue, the second Limaga, when they want us. A madam and Sue, but you're not a Yawa. To Kumas, Masayu, Basuma. Bapa kena Allah dunia, ama Allahira, 
hadisai sun inganta sun nuna bayan Allah wadda suke cikin aljanna za su ga Allah Allah zai ba su karfin idon iya ganin sa wata nima ce babba su ga Allah nima ganin Allah ya fi dadin aljanna gaba daya Allah ta'ala ya samu ganshi amin Allah ya tara mu da annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to su da Allah ta'ala ya tada su bayan mutuwar su bayan wannan tsawon ta halaka su sai Allah ta'ala ce la allakum tashkuruna mun tada ku ne daga wannan mutuwar wannan tsawon ko kwa gode mu Allah ku ce Allah to mun gode maka mu yi ganganci mu yi tambaya wanda ba haƙƙi mu ba ko mun ga abin da muka gani to yanzu da ka dawo da mu to mun mika wuya mun gode daga yau daga yau ba da giba mun san matsayin mu bayi amma ina bani israil ai a lokacin suka bude wani sabon sabon wato rigima ga annabi musa alai salatu wassalam shi sa abin da ke faru a gaza ba wani mamaki bane wajen yahudawa kuma masu jin tsoron su yawanci yan kazagin su ne da su ma kananan yahuda ne da burtaniya da america da sauran manyan manyan wato wai da ake gani su ke yake da wato ainihin karfi na duniya su ma kananan yahuda ne su kuma larabawa da suke ta bin su tsoron su da raunin imani ko kuma rashin shi shi sa aka fada wannan idan ba ka ba idan larabawa kade suka dunkule abin da yasa ake ce da larabawa domin su suke kewaye da wajen a wannan duniyar ta yanzu ba za ka tsallake wata kasa zuwa wata kasa da wakamai ko da abin nan mu ba zai mai wayannan yan sharrin suna nan na urorin suna nuna ka amma su ke kewaye da wayannan mutanen idan suka dunkule ina tabbatar maka isra'il ko ko numfashi ba za ta kara dan a kewaye suke ai amma ina ba imani ko kuma akwai shi yayi rawani ga dukiya ga yawa ga karfi ga musulunci amma ina ya aita zuwa ana ta shan shayi wai ana ta tauna bai wuri ya samu ka wanta tauna ai ba wanta tauna in kaga ma ya ce a tsaya yana yana hango wani masana ne na shi maganar tausayi ba ita duk lokacin da aka ce a tsaya za a yi ko a yi musanyan kaya to ya hango na babu wani alheri a tare da shi kaga abin da wa Allah da aka mai tsawa ya mutu Allah ya tada shi dan ya gode yake gode ba do to me zaka wannan mutum kuma wayannan jikokin su ne tafiya kiri dai ce ba bambanci zamani ne kawai bambanta amma su din su ne bani israil Allah ta'ala ce la allakum tashkuruna ko kwa gode to basu gode ba na ثم بعثناكم من بعد موتكم لعلكم تشكرون now you see in the earlier red verse Allah said they ask they told Abu Musa categorically that they will not believe in him until when they see Allah plainly this is Allah that's when they are going to believe Now and the verse informs us that Allah sees them with thunder and lightning but it's not very clear whether they fainted whether they died whether they are just un- unconscious but the verse that follows Allah make it very clear Allah says summa ba asnaku min ba'di mutik and then we raise you up after your death which means that thunder has killed all of them they all died but in allah's mercy in trying to put before them the mightiness and the powerfulness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah sees their life and then he return back their life to them after death now if you are there what if you take your take is to know your position that allah is really great and then you submit absolutely but when you israel they did, they did not say because they are stubborn by nature they are stubborn by nature some of us and then we raise you up after your death 
And the essence of that and the wisdom behind that, La Allah kun tashkuru, a chance you are going to be grateful to Allah SWT. That, oh Allah, we have wronged you by asking your prophet to show us you, if not, we are not going to believe in you. But we are seeing whom you are through your action. You have seized our life and then you return us back to life, we have submitted to you. We repent you, but they reject it. Very stubborn they are. Then here I debated a little to what is happening today in Gaza. They are the same generation. They are the same grandchildren of Banu Israel. The real ones. They are the ones. They are the Jews. They are the Yehud. They don't understand anything rather than force. They don't know any diplomacy. Uh, sitting down around the table to discuss is somebody who doesn't know Banu Israel. When you know them, there is no need for sitting around any table. What they know is, is force. That is what the language they understand. It's unfortunate uh, the Muslim Ummah are uh, 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 disunited, disorganized, and particularly the Arabs. And I mention Arab because they are the ones surrounding them. They have the number, they have the weapons, they have the leadership, they have everything to deal with the situation practically. Unfortunately, round table and round table and round table making noise because it's noise making anytime you call for cease of of killing the innocent ones Jews would never understand they would never agree until when they know they have a benefit if not they will never listen to you they will kill all, they will kill children, they will kill women, they will drop bombs in hospitals. They will never listen to you. So if you have a person like this, you have to know the situation and deal with him squarely. But you find that the Arabs are there silent, scared, not making any move. Always looking for round table, round table city. Somebody Allah has is very unfortunate, very, very sad. Allah says, La Allah kun tashkuru. The essence of returning back your life uh, is for you to be grateful to Allah's word. So that you thank Allah, so that you know that Allah's word not Allah is powerful. Now, here they are questioning. You know, they ask that they want to see Allah. Nobody can see Allah on us here. It is a light that cannot be seen. Nur and Laira. How is it possible? You cannot see it. Uh, you may hear some Wali saying they, they see Allah. That, that, that is a misconception. You have to get it very clear. Uh, we don't debunk the existence of Aulia. If Allah so wish this almost all of us can be Aulia. It is Allah's selection for you to be a Wali. And it's an honor. So they are there. Nobody can debunk their presence and their existence. And Allah knows them. And they will continue to exist. But they have limitations. They can't come and claim that they are, they are, they are, they are, they are conversing with Allah. Or they saw Allah. Or they discussed with Allah. That is a joke. Look, Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. is not an ordinary... All prophets are not ordinary, but his one is super. He's among the five, five greatest prophets. When he asked Allah, he want to see Allah. He could not see Allah. In fact, for that question, he fainted, and the mountain he was asking Allah on disintegrated. Musa said. So your wali cannot read that of level of Musa Ali Salaam. No wali will read that position of Musa Ali Salaam. You could not see Allah's one. The only argument among the, the companions is that while Rasulullah Sallam has seen Allah during his trip in Isra wal Miraj. Some said he saw Allah, some said he did not. That argument remained instant. But for any other human, count it not true. 
count it not. But on the day of Qiyamah, after entering Al Jannah, those who are in the Jannah would sound a hadith for Rasulullah Sallam. They are going to see Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Allah will give them the power of the sight that will make them to see Allah Subhanahu. And the the joy they receive in seeing Allah is much more than the enjoyment of the Jannah. So it is our prayers that all of us, all of us, are going to see Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And the point remains that Banu Israel will remain as they are. Diplomacy cannot handle them. There are people that need actually eye on hand. That was the case in the past, and that is the case today, and that is going to be the case throughout existence. To this point, inshallah, uh, we are going to call it a day. Uh, all I must have said here of goodness is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Any form of mistake and shortcoming, it is my, from my own humble self. In my weakness, I ask him to pardon me and to forgive all of us. Uh, to this point, we call it a day. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta.